I'm Shinya Kishimoto, a junior in college. Hmm, a study abroad program, huh? I was looking at this bulletin board on campus. They were looking for students for the study abroad program. I was an English major, so I've always wanted to go abroad. There's a test for it though. I might not get in, but... It can't hurt to try. Let's give it a shot. So I went to the office and filled out the application form. When I got home, my childhood friend was there with her family. Mahiru, I didn't know you were coming. Hey, Shinya! This is my childhood friend, Mahiru. Our parents were friends with each other, so we always played together as kids. After high school, she went to a vocational college to become a hairstylist. She started working this year. It's your day off? Yeah! How's work? It's hard. There's so much stuff I gotta remember. <laughs> that sucks. You've always had a terrible memory. Shut up. You wouldn't get it, college boy. You guys have it easy. I'm actually jealous. What? College is a lot of work too, you know. You don't have it easy. But still, your summer vacation's like a month long, right? I wish I could take a month off from work. Oh, stop talking like that. You just started working. I know, but I'm lucky if I can get two days off in a week. I'm always really busy. Oh, poor you. Here, have some donuts, dear. Yay, thank you! Uh, I still can't believe she's out there working already. Kids grow up so fast. Yeah, my hero is all grown up now. We're proud of you, honey. Junior still looks like a kid, though. If he wears his own uniform, people probably think he's still in high school. What? Shut up, Dad. In the summer, I'm trying to get into the study abroad program, you know? It's only for the summer. And there's a test, so I don't know if I'll get in, but... You always like to study, so this might be good for you. I don't know, this is all happening so fast, I'm worried. Junior will be fine. How long are you going to be gone for? About a month. No fair, I want to go too! It's not like I'm going on vacation or anything. Still, you get to go abroad for a month? That's not fair, take me with you! Oh, Mahiru, stop it. Let him be. Huh? Yeah, Mahiru, grow up. Ugh, whatever. She was like this back when I was a freshman in college. Huh, a text from Mahiru. I got class, though. So I'll reply later. So I put my phone away and went to class. But then, after class was over... What the? Ten messages? It was all from Mahiru. She wasn't happy that I ignored her. And then she wrote... Don't work on the weekends. I want to hang out with you. Then she told me to come pick her up from school because she didn't want to walk home alone. I couldn't do everything she told me, but I did my best to be there for her. Then she started working and things settled down after that. If you're that worried about him, marry him already. Oh, stop it. They're too young for that. <laughs> when we were kids, they thought we'd get married someday. We used to be best friends as kids. But, these days, when she sees me, all she does is complain, so... We should probably take some time off from each other. Why would I marry him? I don't even like him. Don't worry, I don't want to marry you either. <laughs> hey, you want some ice cream? There's strawberry. Your favorite, right? Um, no, I'm not hungry. I don't even like strawberry. <sighs> Whatever. Oh no, he said he doesn't like me. A few weeks later. Wow, no way! I got accepted to the study abroad program. My parents and my hero's parents were really happy to hear the good news. I was a bit nervous, but I started studying even harder to prepare myself for the program. Then, the night before my departure, my parents and my hero's parents threw a farewell party for me, but my hero, she didn't look so well. Maybe she's tired from work, my hero? What? You okay? Are you upset that I'm leaving? What? No! Oh, okay. You don't look well, though. Long day at the office? Yeah, work is pretty tough, but my supervisor's really nice to me, so I'll be okay. No worries, I'll be fine. Oh, okay. But I'm leaving for a month. She really doesn't care. This made me kind of upset, so I said to her, Are you sure about that? I'm gonna be gone for a whole month. A month? That's nothing. But I probably won't be able to return your texts and stuff. You shouldn't be texting me anyways. You're going there to study, aren't you? Fine then. I won't text you at all. You okay with that? Huh? You make a good point. We spend way too much time together. That's probably why we're still single. We should take some time off. Whatever. So I decided not to text her while I was away. Maybe I should text her before I get on the plane. Nah, screw it. She said she'd be fine without me. The study abroad program was a lot of fun. I was already halfway through the program. Time flies when you're having fun. I made a lot of new friends too. 
At first, it was really hard keeping up with everyone in class, but my English skills were improving significantly. I didn't text my hero once, and she never texted me either. Then one day, I got a text from my friend back in Japan. His name is Tanaka. I heard you were studying abroad. How is it? It's a lot of work, but I'm getting by. Ah, oh, good to hear. Myro told me to check up on you. Huh? She misses you, man. You should text her. But she's the one that told me not to text her. She told me to focus on my studies. <laughs> you know she doesn't really mean that. She's always been like this. True. For instance, when she wanted to play with me. You want me to play with you? Fine then, I'll play with you. Huh? What do you mean? She was really childish. But then when I got hurt playing soccer... Shinya, you okay? She seemed really worried about me. Fine, Myro. It's not a big deal. Ouch. Be careful. Why is she so worried about me? She walked me to and from school every day until I was feeling better. It's probably true that she's worried about me. Maybe I should text her. But what do I tell her? I haven't talked to her in two weeks now. I don't know what to say. I needed something to talk about, so I decided to look at her hair salon's website. But then... I saw this picture. It was a picture of her and this really good looking guy. My adorable colleague. So this must be the supervisor she was talking about. I didn't know it was a guy though. For some reason, I didn't like this. Maybe I should call her and ask her who this is. But we're just friends. We're not even dating, so... <sighs> what is it? You still haven't texted your friend? No. Just text him already. But I don't know what to say to him. Just tell him you miss him. Huh? Listen, if you want to tell someone how you feel, you gotta say the words. You understand what I'm saying? Good point. I always liked him, but I didn't want him to find out, so I never said anything. I was shy, but that's not the only reason. I think I was scared that he might say no. Why did I say all those mean things to him? I shouldn't have done that. He's your childhood friend, so you thought you wouldn't have to say it out loud, right? Yeah, and um, I told him I didn't like him. In that case, he probably thinks you don't like him. Oh no, what do I do? I should go talk to him right now, but I can't do that right now. Maybe he met someone there. I fell asleep thinking about what to tell my hero. When I woke up, there was a message from my hero. I miss you, Shinya. What? I wasn't expecting that. Ugh, what does she want? She doesn't need me. She probably likes a supervisor. But knowing that she missed me made me happy. What should I tell her though? I couldn't think of anything to say to her. It was time for class, so I put my phone away and headed to school. Hey, um... What is it now? He's not replying. So what? What do you mean? What do I do? It's just a text message, relax. But... Let me guess, you've always been a jerk to him, haven't you? What? How did you know? You're not very good at talking about your feelings. And you're not that good at asking for help either. Sorry. But I also know that you're a very hard worker, and you never give up. Thanks. So, if he's not returning your texts, keep texting him until he does. When I checked my phone after class, there was another message from my hero in my inbox. She's probably mad that I ignored her. But then... I want to see you. I can't stop thinking about you. You know why strawberry is my favorite flavor? I'll tell you once you get back to Japan. What the? This is adorable. What's going on here? I had no idea. I didn't know what to say to her. Uh, what do I do now? I didn't know how to reply to her. This was causing me a headache. Strawberry has always been her favorite flavor ever since kindergarten. When we were kids, she always gave me a bite of whatever she was eating. And whenever I got into trouble, she always stood by my side. We had so many memories together, and it was all coming back to me. After much thought, I replied saying, I miss you too, my hero. The study abroad program was finally over. Mahiro said she'd come pick me up at the airport. Wow, she really came. I didn't think she saw me though. She was checking her hair using her pocket mirror. She fixing your hair? For me? That's so adorable. Mahiro! Shinya! I ran up to her and hugged her. I missed you. Hey, stop it. You're back in Japan. You're embarrassing me. Haha, <laughs> I missed this. Huh? Ugh. Stop being a jerk. Just be honest with him. I... I really missed you, too. Same here. Hey, I'm starving. I could go for some miso soup right about now. Miso soup? I'm swilling my heart out and he's talking about miso soup? What's wrong with him? Is he even listening to me? Stop joking around. I'm serious. I really like you, Shinya. Huh? I love you. I've always loved you. Myro, you okay? Why are you yelling at me? Tell me how you feel about me. I... 
Being away from Mahiru really put things into perspective for me. I thought about Mahiru every single day. We had so many memories together. Thinking about her made me feel all warm inside. That's when I realized that Mahiru had a special place in my heart. I... I love you too, Mahiru. Shinya! So, will you be my boyfriend? You bet. Come here. And we headed back home. Our parents threw a welcome home party for me. Welcome back, dear. But you seem kind of different. I guess you learned a lot on your study abroad program. Yeah, it's good to have you back, kiddo. Thanks. It was good to be back. But then... What are you talking about, Mom? He hasn't changed a bit. Shut up, Mahiru. Ah, what am I saying? Stop it. But I can't help it, and I don't want him to change. Oh, Mahiru, you haven't changed at all either. <laughs> Ugh, be quiet. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> yeah. I got some souvenirs for everyone. Well, everyone except Mahiru. What? Just kidding. Gotcha. <laughs> it's all in my suitcase. Can you help me bring it up to my room? Sure. Why can't I stop being a jerk to him? Is he mad at me? Shinya. Yeah, when I turned around, she was crying for some reason. Mahiru? I'm sorry for being a jerk. I didn't mean to, but... Oh, Mahiru. <laughs> stop crying. It's fine. I don't care. But my supervisor said... Huh? If you want to tell someone how you feel, you gotta say the words. I see. Supervisor. Is it the guy you took that picture with? The one on the website? Huh? Uh, yeah, but, uh... Who do you like more? M him or me? Huh? You jealous or something? Answer my question. Fine, but only if you kiss me. Huh? What? We're boyfriend and girlfriend now. What's the big deal? Are you scared? Fine. Ah! He actually kissed me! You're blushing. You kissed me. <laughs> uh, look at that smile. He's adorable. Um, the thing is, my supervisor, she's a woman. So you got nothing to worry about. What? Oh, I see. This is embarrassing. <laughs> no worries. I'm just glad we're together now. My hero, come here. I love you. I love you too, babe. Hey, you might not remember this, but back in kindergarten, I had this hairband with strawberries on them, and you said it looked cute. That's why strawberry is my favorite, and that's why I decided to become a hairstylist. What? I had no idea. It took us a while to be honest with each other about our feelings, but it was definitely worth the wait. They're still talking? I guess they got a lot of catching up to do. Let's eat. I can't wait any longer. I'm starving. Same here. Our parents had no idea that we were dating now, but I'm pretty sure they'll be really happy for us when we tell them. Anyways, glad everything worked out. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye.